Okay, hey, my name is Eric Grant and I'm with Furnox. And what we're going to show you today is how you hook up the Mark IV power flushing machine to a hydronic system. Now what the Mark IV is actually used for is a real quick clean on any closed loop hydronic system. So instead of getting our cleaner in there letting it run for a couple of days, you can hook this machine up and you can run it for a couple of hours and get a really good clean. Alright, so what you have, this is the machine itself. Whenever it's shipped, it is actually shipped with two uh, inch and a half hoses. Comes with two cam fittings, so you can just hook up a regular garden hose. And what you on the other end of this, to get it connected to the system, you're going to have a supply, and you're going to have a return. So you can hook up your supply. What you do? Take your supply hose. Hook it up, come over to your garden hose. Okay. It does have a shutoff valve at the connection point with the garden hose. Then all you need to do, connect this anywhere on your system where that's going to be your input or your supply to the system. Okay, then on the other end, it's the exact same. You just hook up your hose. This is on your return. And you'll connect your cam fitting on your other hose. And this will be your return back into the machine. So what you're doing is you're creating a big circle. Um, so you're going to flow and flush the chemicals through the system and you're going to remove all the debris. So we have the hoses hooked up to the machine. And down here, we have your makeup water or your fill water just coming out of the regular domestics or tap water. All right, this is your valve here that controls that level. And what we're going to do, we're going to start filling this tank. You want to get the water level up to about halfway between these two uh, points here and the uh, cyclops. And you have a little over in here to measure you know, your water level once you've filled it up. All right, so once the water's full, you have all your connections, you can open all the valves on the system side, all the connection points there, but make sure the valves are closed on the machine. So you don't want all that pressure coming back against this. So your first step is going to be, you're going to open up your valve for your supply, and you're going to turn the motor on. Now what this is going to do is it's going to start pumping water from the tank into the system. At this point, that's when you're going to open up your return valve. You're going to have a little bit of air left inside of the hoses, so you want to get that out. What you're going to do is deadhead the pump. Just shut it off a little bit, a little bit of, little bit of pressure build up behind it, open it up, and it'll start pulling through. So that once all that air is out of the system, and you'll see it in the hoses, and you'll also see it in the tank, your water level should start balancing out. You don't want it going more than an inch or so above your uh, sight glass marker there. And once that happens, you can add your chemicals at that point, and you're fully circulating. And then to control your flow, in case you're getting too much pressure back or too much pressure in, all you need to do is just throttle down a little bit on your uh, intake, and that'll kind of slow it down. So if you basically watch the, the level of water in the tank, and by controlling the valve, you'll keep it right in the middle and you'll balance out the system. So we have been flushing the system for a few hours. We've just been circulating it around, trying to loosen up all that debris, letting the cleaner do its work, getting all of it out in solution. Now what we're going to do, we're going to flush out all that debris while putting in fresh water. And the way that you do that is you have a dump valve over here, and normally you have a garden hose connected to it where it just goes to any drain, you know, preferably down into the sewer. And when you start to drain, you're going to shut this ball valve off, open this ball valve up, and it's going out to the hose. So the water is being forced through the supply into the system and then forced out your hose. But we need to watch the water level in the tank, and the way that we do that is we use this valve down here to start putting in fresh water. So as the tank starts to fill with fresh water, it's going to be forcing more fresh water into the system and moving more of the dirty water out. And then the way, whenever you're done doing that, and the way you can tell it's a good clean, you start seeing clean water, at that point, that's when you do your TDS reading or you can try your uh, pH test. All right, so at this point in time, We've got the system completely flushed out. 
we've got nothing but fresh water in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to finish draining out this tank. We're going to make sure that all of our valves are shut off at this time. Shut the valves off in the system. Disconnect the hose that's taking in mind you still have water in these hoses. So whenever you disconnect them, just be careful that you don't you know, dump it all over the uh, mechanical room. And then to finish dumping out the tank, down here we have a power dump. Just connect the normal garden hose to that with the machine running. Just crack open the valve. The motor's going to start pushing water out, but you want to keep an eye on the level of the water in the system because you don't want it to get to below the, the impeller level down in the bottom of the tank. So what it's going to do is suck air and we don't want that to happen. So just keep an eye on that. You'll probably have a little bit, maybe a quarter inch or half inch of water. Then you just carefully roll the tank over and dump the rest of the water out.